This is the Xbox Series X replica mini fridge. It finally came in. Uh, it was available for pre-order about a month ago and I got a notification saying it was gonna be delivered. So I figured I'd do an unboxing. I promised everybody an unboxing uh, over on my Twitter. So here we are. Here's a normal Xbox Series X, by the way. And putting them together, well, <laughs> the box is much bigger. And that was to be uh, expected, I think, because how are you supposed to fit cans into something like that? All right. Starting right off, we have our instruction manual. And then, oh my gosh. All right, so here it is out of the box. We have the Xbox Series X mini fridge with the Xbox Series X. Obviously there's a, a big difference in size here, uh, mainly due to the fact that you wouldn't be able to fit many cans uh, or bottles for that matter in a standard sized Series X. So it is upscaled just a little bit, but it's, it's true to form. I mean, it really is. You still have the button here on the front. You still have a USB, which I'm gonna test to see if that actually allows you to charge a device. I think that would be pretty cool. But uh, inside the box, you get a couple of different things. You get the instruction manual, and through the instruction manual, there'll be a QR code that you can scan in order to redeem your warranty on this fridge. Then you get two different power cables, a DC cable. So if you're going to be traveling, you can plug this into your vehicle and still get power to the mini fridge. In fact, on the box, it says it's perfect for travel because of its compact size. Then you get an AC cable for while you're at home. Many vehicles also come with this particular type of plug. So yeah, you can use it there too, I guess. But let's go ahead and plug it in and check it out. So on the back of the Series X fridge, you have a DC in, an AC in, and your on and off switch. While it's plugged into AC, even if it's off, you still have the lighting effects here at the top, which turns it green. Flipping the switch will turn on the fridge itself to start to cool down. Um, and it does emit a little bit of noise, but I'm assuming, like many other mini fridges, once you get to that temperature that's desired, the fan won't be on all the time. Let's go ahead and take a look at it from the front. All right, so here we are. Uh, I went ahead and turned off the lights so we can see all the illuminated areas. The top of the Xbox is glowing green. It's a little strange though, because we don't have perforations on all the holes up there, just the parts that are necessary, but it still looks pretty cool. The front, we have the Xbox symbol lit up, which you can actually turn off by pressing that controller pair button right here on the front. That's what it looks like when it's off. And that's what it looks like when it's back on. Unfortunately, when you open up the fridge, there's no illumination on the inside. I'm sure that there's gonna be a ton of people who mod these things to add some sort of illumination on the inside. I just think it's a little bit of a bummer that that doesn't happen. The other thing that I thought the fridge was going to do is create some sort of sound effects while in use. And unfortunately that doesn't seem to be the case either. You are able to actually remove the shelving within. If you didn't want to have cans only, you could put bottles in there like water bottles, taller alcohol cans. You could have soda that's in there as well. It just depends on how you're feeling. On the top, you can have up to two cans in the normal size, which kind of sucks because I thought it would be a little deeper, but it's not. <laughs> so four in the bottom, four in the middle and two up top. These little shelves here can be used for snacks. Um, the shelves themselves can be removed if you don't want them in there, just like so. But yeah, there's really no point in removing them because they actually don't interfere with the cans that are in here, which is nice. I just wish I was able to put a water bottle up here. It'd be nice to store a few of those up there, but unfortunately it's just too shallow. It won't actually shut when it's in there. I guess those half size water bottles would work pretty well though. You do have other light controls, by the way. So if you didn't want this green, you could turn that off by pressing the disc eject button. 
Um, like I said before, the controller pairing button will turn on and off the Xbox light there, but if you're gonna be having this in display mode, you might as well have all the lights on. Next, I'm gonna test if that USB down here actually charges anything. All right, so let's plug in this USB. Let's see if we actually get any power. I'm gonna plug in an Xbox controller. And just for proof, show you there's no batteries in there. Let's go ahead and see, moment of truth. Yep, I felt it rumble. Wow, that is so cool. So the USB actually will power things, charge things like your phone. So if you have this sitting next to your desk and you need an additional USB charging, there you go, you get it in the mini fridge. So that is it guys. Uh, thank you all so much for coming out to the video. I'm happy to have unboxed this. It seems like it's a pretty cool device. Obviously you kind of get what you pay for when it comes to a $99 mini fridge, but it's an Xbox. It's a cool collectible. For those of you that want to get it based off of what you saw here, I wish you the best of luck. They're supposed to be getting a restock uh, in December for Target. And I don't think they're going to be sold anywhere else. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video today, drop a like on it, subscribe for more. And uh, of course, if you haven't yet, don't forget to ring the bell icon for more videos coming very soon. It's a little sporadic here on the second channel, but whenever they decide to come in, at least you'll be prepared for them. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.